What's up, third graders? Today we're going to be working on using less than or greater than to compare two unit fractions. All right, let's get a crack. First, let's talk about what a unit fraction is. A unit fraction is a fraction with a numerator of one. So here are some common unit fractions. One half, one third, one fourth, one fifth. The important thing to see here is to notice that the more parts you split a fraction into, the smaller each part gets. Another way of saying that is to say, the bigger the denominator is, the smaller the fraction is. Let's look at this first example to prove this. Here we have to compare one half and one fifth. Now to compare fractions, we gotta make sure we're using the same size model to compare have to have the same whole that we're looking at. So we make one half and then we shade in one of our halves because the numerator is one. Then we make one fifth by using our model and making it into fifths and we shade in one of our fifths. Now notice because one half is only split into two pieces and it has a greater amount shaded in than one fifth that was split into five pieces. So the symbol we'll use is the one that is chomping down on one half. So we'll use this one. And we'll read this as one half is greater than one fifth. All right, let's try another one. Here we have one sixth and one fourth. One sixth has a denominator of six, so our model needs to be split into six. And the numerator is one, so we'll shade in one of those six. One fourth has a denominator of four, so our model needs to be the same size, but split into fourths. And its numerator is also one, so we'll shade in one fourth. Now remember, the bigger the denominator actually means the smaller the fraction. And we see that here because one fourth has a greater amount shaded in than one sixth. So we'll use the symbol that is opening its mouth towards one fourth. And we'll read this as one sixth is less than one fourth. So to sum it up, when comparing unit fractions that both have a numerator of one, just look at the smaller denominator because that means it's not split up as much and therefore it's actually greater. Then pick the symbol that is hungry for that side. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Peace. Created using Powtoon.